hi everybody it's me and oh my god guys i was able or i am able <laughs> to do a dollar tree haul yay oh my god okay so i love the dollar tree i love tuesday morning i love michael's all the stores but real life real talk don't always can get or i can't always get there actually for most of the time i can't get there and the other day I was able to go to the Dollar Tree and again my stores around here like Michaels and Joann's are basically the same you know everywhere um well Joann's really isn't but Michaels is but my Dollar Tree and my Tuesday morning guys I swear to you I I will take a my my phone and I will go down every aisle and show you I just don't have the th or they don't have the things that you guys find so when I was in there the other day, I thought, well, I'm just going to pick up a few things. And a few things turned out to be like two and a half bags full. So let me just show you real quick what I got. Um, you know the, the this crinkling stuff that you guys all get? So I found this. I guess it's out for their Easter collection. And I love the colors because they can be used all year round. So I bought one bag of these, which I love. And I'm just going to kind of throw them over here. <laughs> you know, I ha if they had purple, I had to get it. So I found purple. I got one of those. And then I found pink, loving this pink. Love, love, love it. So I got that one. And then I found this black and white one, which I thought was so super cool. And, you know, and I was so pissed at myself too, because I'm sitting here looking at it and I'm going, you know how easy it would be just to shred up paper and like just fold it up myself and make my own confetti, especially like with scraps and stuff. But unfortunately with my hands, I have the hardest time making rosettes. And those are like a, a half an inch or an eighth of an inch. I don't know, but I, I would never be able to do that. So I bought four bags, <laughs> all different colors. I didn't care. Yes, guys, I do have diabetes and I'm not supposed to be eating this, but I couldn't help it. It's Easter and it's purple and they're my favorite candies, Mike and Ike's. Oh my God. I used to, and this is probably how I got diabetes because I used to have a bowl, I swear to God, in my room all the time filled with Mike and Ike's. Like every other day I was going and buying a bag and dumping it in and just eating them throughout the day. Like, you know, it was like a, like a vegetable or something. Oh my God, I'm so stupid. But I bought three of them because one I opened in the store and ate. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I can't have these for a while, but I, you know, I'm honest. So yeah, I got these two and they're not stale. Okay, and that's the other thing I wanna ask you guys. So please leave it in the comments. When you or if you buy candy from the Dollar Tree, is it always stale? Because I have to be honest and tell you, I used to buy Mike and Ike's all the time from the Dollar Tree, but I stopped because it didn't matter what I purchased or when I purchased them, they were always stale, like hard, hard, and they were hard to chew. And it just got to the point where it was like, I'd rather go to the grocery store and get them because I know that they're gonna be not stale. You know, so if that's happened to you, let me know. So anyway, I took a chance and I figured, well, first of all, it's for Easter and they're different flavors with different colors. So they can't be that stale, could they? And they're not. Oh my God, guys. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why I opened the first box. Because I said to myself, well, if I have one, of course I had the whole box, but if I had one and they were good, I would get another box. Well, I want, they were so good and so not stale. So I bought two more. <laughs> That's just the truth. So there you go. <laughs> so those are those. Now, um, you guys probably all know her. She's she, she here on um, YouTube she had this spoon oh my god guys it was the prettiest tiniest little spoon that she picks up like sea beads with and does her pro I don't know if they were sea beads but they were like the real like micro tiny little beads that she puts for the flower or for the like the center part of her flowers so she had this little spoon and she told me she didn't remember where she got it but they had little ones at the dollar store so this is as small as I could find it and I think hers was actually smaller but you get like, oh, 24. So even if I just use it and throw it, um, but yeah, so, and I also thought these would be good to send in Happy Mail as well. So I don't have to keep all 24. I'll probably keep like two or three. And I'm also buying things for my giveaway because I hit a thousand, yay! So I'm trying to build up a, a nice, a nice, nice prize package. So I'll probably put some of them in the giveaway and then I'll send some for Happy Mail. So I got those, loved it. Then I found these. Again, you guys know I cannot do my own um, rosettes because my hands just, they don't work that way. So I found this beautiful pattern and I love it. So I thought even if I flatten it out and then do something in the center, I can use that as a rosette. 
So loving that. And then I just found these beautiful, I think they're blank inside. Yeah, blank inside. It just says thank you. Um, you know, when I need a thank you card really quick and I don't have time to make one um, because you guys are so kind to me. <laughs> so I figured I have, you know, these I could put in my stash and then use them when I need them. So I got those. And now let me show you the rest of the stuff. Okay, so let me just put this bag up here. This is the next couple things I'm going to show you are going to be for the giveaway. So I found I wanted this for myself, but I said, no, no, no. <laughs> they had a couple of different prints, but it's this massive, like really big notebook. It's really nice. And it opens this way instead of this way. And it comes with a pen and it says, make your dreams happen. I just thought that was so awesome. So this is going to go for the giveaway. And then I found these that you guys all go crazy over. And I was, people were so kind and, and somebody gifted me, well, two people gifted them to me. Um, so I got this one, the mermaid brush. So that's gonna go to the giveaway. I got this one. So that will go to the giveaway. I could not believe my dollar store had them. And if I didn't buy so much other stuff, I probably could have would have gotten two or three of each, but I only got one for the giveaway. So or one of each for the giveaway that they had. So they had these three, so I got them. So that's gonna be for the giveaway. And then, um, oh, you guys know how I am with my lighters. <laughs> so I got two more lighters. I might, I don't know if I can even mail it, but I, I don't know. Um, and then, you, okay, so this is what I wanna show you because I need your help, guys. Like, I really, really, really need your help. You guys always, if I can get this off, wait a minute, how the hell? Wait a minute, hold on, I'm so sorry. Ah! Oh, okay, here, okay. So this came together as a set, and I love them, they're the bows, but the reason why I didn't get them for the bows, believe it or not, you see these back, this back part that it just clips like this? You guys use them all the time, like look, somebody sent me this one, and you see how like they, it looks like they just kind of glued it or taped it to this, and it's just this really pretty fuzzy, pink thing <laughs> and I love it because you can just clip it on a project or like look just kind of clip it like that and it can be you know a little a little embellishment and I can never find these anywhere I just want to be able to get the clip I think D well I don't think my girl D um she did it she did one with a feather and it was the coolest thing I've ever seen but I don't know where you get these separately or do you just buy things like this and take it off and then just do your own thing if you guys could let me know down in the description I would really truly truly appreciate it and I thought I could use the bows on any project so I got those and then I got these and I just thought the colors were awesome I figured I can use them really on anything um, but I'm really interested in the clips that are attached to this. So if anybody knows, if you can let me know in the comment section and tell me where to get them or, you know, where I can find them cheap, I would so greatly appreciate it. Then, um, the wet and wet, these brushes, I don't know if you guys know this, but for makeup, they're phenomenal, but they're also phenomenal for, um, inking and painting and whatever else you need to use them for. I have a few. Um, and of course I don't know where they are, but anyway, I needed a really thin one because sometimes when <laughs> it's going to sound nuts, but sometimes when I'm doing stamping and I stupidly do not use my stamp, um, my stamp majiggy or whatever you call it. And there's like a little line, like a tiny little line that didn't come out. I can put dip this like real thin part in the ink and just like kind of dip it real quick where the line didn't show and then it makes it look like I didn't have an accident like you know what I'm trying to say I know that sounds so crazy I don't even know how the hell I'm trying to explain it so I found these you guys all know I use these on nails and also I use them on my projects for craft they're nail art but I use them I think probably more for crafting than I do on my nails um, but I love them they only had two so I just got the two and I keep them in my stash and they come with two four six eight six. 10, pie oh, duh, 10 pieces and there's two of each bow so here let me bring this up to show you because they're really really cool so here this one's like a, a pink this is a black and white this is a pink and white like zebra this is another oh that's all black and then this is a um a cheetah print black white and pink oh i guess it would help if i was actually in frame and you can see what the hell i was pointing to 
So yeah, these are super awesome and you get 10 for a dollar. Where are you going to find nail art 10 for a dollar that are this big? I mean, these bows are decent sizes. So I just love them. I use them on everything. Okay. And then, um, oh, <laughs> I don't know why, but my nieces and nephews are constantly getting hurt when they come over because they're, I guess we just rough house with them <laughs> or I rough house with them. So they're always love that I have like these really cool ice packs, but they fight over them all the time. Like if there's a bowl and a rose, for whatever reason, whatever one the other one has, they want. It's just so I just got two um, soccer balls because one's the the my niece is eight and my nephew is four. So I figured they both play soccer and they would both like them. So those I will put in my freezer for them. Okay, and then um, this stuff I bought. Okay, so this I couldn't believe they had this at the dollar store. Now, I do not recommend this for makeup applications. I know that there it's out there that it's, you know, you could use it and, you know, blah, 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 blah. But I'm telling you right now, it is no good for makeup applications. But it, this is phenomenal. Like when you do the face masks, instead of getting it all over your hands. And again, I could not believe they had this at the dollar store. I don't know who it was, but somebody here on YouTube that I watch all the time showed this and I wish for the life of me I remembered who it was so that I can give them credit because when I was in the dollar store the other day I saw this and I picked it up and again if I didn't buy so much other crap I probably would have got two of them but let me know is this something you guys would like in in the giveaway pack because I'll go back and get more but it's just a, a like a silicone palette that you put the stuff on so you don't get it all over your hands and then you just put it all over your face like she's doing here in the picture and it's easy to clean and oh my god so i am so excited about this i cannot wait um and to be honest with you having to use my hands has been a big deterrent for me not using the face masks but now that i have this yay i can use it so i'm very very excited about that now these stickers you guys may have already hauled them and have had them for a while but like i said I really don't find all that much in my, my Dollar Tree. So these were a huge find for me. And I'm not, if I can go back and find another one, then I'm going to put these into my giveaway. But I loved them. Oh my God. So look at this one. So this says our family and it's like a chalkboard. So I was thinking you can take like your white um, gel pen and like write on it or, you know, put something on it, whatever or just leave it blank. But I just fell in love with these. I thought they were so super pretty. And I love the colors. It's it's blue, black, green, and a tiny little bit of white. I just thought that was just so pretty. I don't, you don't normally see these colors together. So loving that. And then I found this one, which I went cuckoo for. <laughs> and again, they only had one of each. Otherwise I, I probably would have gotten two or three of them because I love them that much so that I can give to Happy Mail and then also give away and then one myself. So I might just even just put this all in the giveaway. Um, but yeah, I mean, just absolutely amazing. I love them. And then this one. So this one is my favorite. I, and it's crazy because I, I don't, I think it's the colors that do it for me, to be honest. Then there's this one. And then I found this one. Oh my God, do I love this one. I mean, who doesn't love coffee? I mean, hello, this is like a 32 ounce. <laughs> this thing is like a massive beast. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. Um, we have this one, which I love. Then we have this coffee. And they're all 3D, which is really, really cool. Like, they, they're all those, like, they stick out. Even these. So, like, if I put them on the side, you can see. Maybe, I hope. Oh, well, maybe not. But, yeah, there's, like, three, two to three layers, sometimes four layers. Like, this has three. This has three. Two, two. This has four layers, actually. This has two this has one two three but they're just amazing and i love them and i think they're pretty and i love the colors and they're really bright and vibrant and they kind of like jump out at you so these would be fantastic for making um act cards or even memory decks cards or anything just regular cards so yeah so I'm going to put this stuff in my um, giveaway. So the, here's some of the things for the giveaway. I'm working on a big thing. I've got a couple of dies, brand new dies that I got just for the giveaway. So I, I'm getting there. It's just taking me a ton of time, guys, because oh, I just don't have any time. So now the last two things I got were these, my bubble mailers. I think it's a little expensive, a dollar for one of these. But when you need them, you need them. And the, these are pretty big. These are, um, let's see. 
does it say how big it's uh, uh, 10.25 by 15 inch and I don't know it says it right here <laughs> so yeah I got two of those and that's it so that is my Dollar Tree haul yay for me like my beautiful friend Jessica says yay for me <laughs> I love her to pieces. Okay, guys. So, yeah, that's it. Let me know what you think down below. And, again, also, let me know about the clips. It's most important for me. I really need to know where to find these. I need them in my life. And then, also, would you guys want one of these in your giveaway um, or in the giveaway that I'm going to do? Like, would that be something you guys would want to win? Um, I think it's phenomenal. And you know what? You don't have, you can use this for crafts, too. Like, if you want to paint and just, like, do, I, I don't know, whatever. I'm sure you can find a way to use this for crafting, but okay. So let me know. I would love to hear from you guys. You know that. And listen, also, I know it's been taking me quite a while to respond, but I promise you, if you leave a comment, I will respond. It may not be that day, but I promise you within that week, <laughs> I will respond to your comments. If that's something that you care about, if not, then please just leave me a comment. Know that I read every one of them when they come up. I just, not able to comment right away all the time, but I always do comment. Okay. I love you guys. I hope you're having a phenomenal week. I hope you're getting ready for the weekend and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. See you on my next video.